Hello everyone, welcome to GIS Man. I'm Miles Lee. This video is to continue with the last video which talked about how to refresh and archive the data from ArcGIS File Geo Database to Oracle using the PL6 Python and FME. In the last video, I have already talked about how to establish the storage procedure in our Oracle database. And I have also talked about how to use the Python to call this storage procedure. And this video, I'm going to talk about the first step, which is use the Python to call the FME workbench to refresh our data from our local file geo database to our Oracle. So let's get started. Beforehand, we will need to import the FME object and also we will need to make sure that the FME object's path is already exists in our system path. So in order to make sure about this, we will need to this is the, our FME object path. We will need to make sure that it already exists. If it's not, we will need to append it to our system path. And after this, we can just import our FMD object. So now it comes to our main logic. Actually, it's very simple. It's very simple and standard. You will need to use the FMD objects workspace runner to create the runner object. Then within the try and catch structure, we will need to use the pop one function to run the workspace. Uh, we haven't decide, we haven't defined the FME workspace path, so we need to do that. So the FME workspace path would be the one I have already prepared right here. Copy and paste it. And after run the workspace, we need to set the object to be none again. This is a standard way. If it's not, we will need to catch the exceptions. And print the message of the exception. So if everything goes fine, we can print one successful. Unsuccessful. Okay, looks everything is good. Let's run and take a look how it goes. Process finish is pretty fast. Pretty fast. Process finish is the first two steps. The first two steps that I implement in the last video. So we will need to wait for run successful. Yep. Yeah, let's just uh, take a while. It won't be long.
Okay, finally we can see run successfully. So now we can go to our database to see the results. So firstly, we will need to check about our archive. In our archive table, I mean the version the version number is year 21 and B02. Yeah. Because we push our old data, which is our year uh, 2021 and version 02 into our uh, archive data warehouse. And then we can check about our new data. Our new data will be year 21 and version 03. Okay. So correspondingly, we can check our local file geo database. And the version is year 21 and version uh, 03. Okay, so which means that the whole process is run successfully. So that's it for today. Uh, actually, uh, what I would like to say is like um, uh, FME process, the FME workbench in this video is pretty easy and um, in later video, I will talk about uh, more advanced skills in FME. And personally, actually, I like FME very much. I use it in lots of my projects. Personally, I'm also a FME certified professional. So if you like it, later I will pay more attention to FME topic. And see you next time. And thanks for watching. And see you again. Bye.